So it should be a fairly low key day today. I don't actually have a whole lot on. I've written my to-do list like I always do. So we're gonna work through it in today's episode and hopefully we can tick off everything that I do need to get done. But like I said, I, I bought that wholesale deal a couple of weeks ago now and I've actually found that I'm a whole lot more productive and I get a whole lot more done quicker because I don't need to go out and source for items, um, you know, three to four times a week. So I haven't really sourced, today's Tuesday, I haven't really sourced since last Thursday's trip to the thrift uh, because I've had so many jumpers. I bought 145 jumpers in a recent wholesale deal and um, I'm just slowly working away at listing all of those. So uh, for that reason, today we won't be thrifting. Um, but I will be going ahead and, uh, and doing a few other things, which um, hopefully provides some value for you in this video today. So a bit of a vlog style to kick off the episode. I've made a few sales yesterday. It's not a postage day today either, uh, but I do need to look out the sales orders. So we might start today and this vlog by, uh, yeah, jumping in to see what actually sold overnight. First item up is an LA Dodgers jersey that sold overnight. Here it is here. Uh, so this sold for $70 plus $30 for international shipping. Now, it is a completely genuine jersey, that's for sure. I'm actually surprised that this one held around for over 100 days worth of a sales cycle. It's an awesome jersey. It is a size large, uh, and it is basically in brand new condition. So I'm really surprised at $70 that it did hold for as long as it did. I've made a few extra dollars with international postage. This one's heading off to the UK. Uh, yeah, $100 sale price, not too bad. Paid $5 in the thrift. Heading outside for our next item, which is a pair of jeans. We've got a pair of Levi Strauss 504 denim jeans, which I think are just literally in this tub right here. Uh, here they are. So Levi Strauss 504, 36 waist, 30 length. These have sold for $39.99. Uh, I paid $7.50 for these. So I'm thinking they're gonna make me about an $18 profit once I've done the numbers, it'll cost me about $7.30 to put in the post. Uh, so yeah, about at probably about an $18 profit. My forever growing wall of DVDs. Have a look at them. They just keep on going at the moment. I swear by them though. They do consistently sell for me. We've had a winner here in Daria, the complete animated series. If I can just finesse this one out with one hand, we'll see how we go here. Um, almost. Oh. Oh. Oh, we got him. All right, so Daria, the complete animated series now paid a dollar for this. It is brand new and sealed, as you can see there. It's never been never been viewed, but I used to watch Daria myself growing up. Sold for $27. Uh, I think this one is uh, Region Zero, as you can see down there. Um, so that means it can be played with literally any single DVD player out there. So right around the world, this one can be played fine. Um, yeah, made $27 in, in a sale price, paid a dollar. I'll profit probably maybe about again, $18 with this one. All right, and the next one up in the DVD rack is this one here, so Snow White. This one has come out of my, uh, that big bulk deal that I did with 88 brand new DVDs. I paid 70 cents each basically. Um, now they, this one here is sold for $14, I think. So brand new and sealed, you always get a few more for it. Take off 450 that I do for postage. Um, I'm probably making off a 70 cent purchase, I think about $8 on this one. But overall now, I've sold about 60 of these DVDs. I've only got about 28 left to go and they're all hiding in there somewhere. Uh, and uh, so far I'm well over $500 worth of profit on the DVDs, having sold about 60 of them now, brand new and sealed. So Snow White, just another little winner out the door. Um, yeah, about another $8 added to the kitty. The books have been slowly doing well for me. I've got these ones here, which sold as well. I took a best offer on these, the Babysitter's Club. I think there's 10 books here. I think I paid $8 for them. Um, it's not a complete set. There's a few different books here in the series, but it's a bit of a mixed bag, really, as you can see by the numbers there. Um, they still managed to sell for $39.99. So not sure what, what my profit will be. Probably about, you know, I'd say about $20 maybe on this, maybe a bit less, maybe $15. Um, so $15 on a little book bundle, that'll go in a medium satchel and I'll pay $10 with the Australia Post My Business Plan. So not too bad there, the books are still selling for me. Babysitter's Club I only bought about two weeks ago. So a pretty fast sales cycle on that one. And then the last item that sold overnight, I can't actually show you because I gave the shoes, it was a pair of Nike Revolution 4s, I'll put them up here. Uh, they sold for $49.90 plus they went to Mexico. 
um, as well on an international sale. So $30 worth of international postage, which is probably what it's gonna work out to. So a sale price there of 50 bucks. But I, I can't show you them because I gave them to mum and mum's been wearing them for the last couple of weeks, really. Um, but they've just sold. So I've had to let her know that she's gonna have to take them off her feet, give them back to me uh, because they're going off to Mexico. So bought them for $4 in the op shop, just a ridiculous purchase, $4 for a pair of Nike running shoes. Uh, and yeah, they were off to Mexico for forty nine ninety. So I thought that was a pretty good one as well. So obviously I can't show you those Nike running shoes, but everything here, including those shoes, came to $300 in total revenue. Uh, a couple of international sales in there, obviously the jersey going off to the UK and the running shoes to Mexico has pumped up the postage cost. But to still hit $300 in revenue, that's pretty comparable to what I do on a standard day. I'm generally doing about $9,000 a month. So to be able to hit $300, these will all be posted out tomorrow. I didn't touch on it, but I, I did wake up the eBay store this morning at about 6.30. I went down to the coffee shop uh, and sat down and, and basically did 20 items worth of an end release strategy. So fingers crossed there's a few sales that could pop up this morning and throughout the day as a result of doing that action. Uh, I'll put any sales that do pop up throughout the day just randomly on the screen. I think that could be a really cool feature. You never know where might, one might pop up. Uh, I do need to do my listings now that I am back home, looked out the post. Uh, I've got these jumpers here. I'm still doing my wholesale order worth of listings, which is awesome because it's preventing me from going out and thrifting because I want to nail all of these listings before I go out to the thrift again. So I am working pretty hard on that. And there is a bit of extra motivation today because I'm only 12 away from a thousand active listings on my eBay store for the very first time. So if I can get 12 of these nailed this morning, hit that thousand, it'll make me feeling pretty good about things. Uh, and I do like to listen to Joe Rogan. Um, I whack Joe Rogan on the podcast and um, just kind of tune out to him and, uh, and get these items listed. So that's sort of my process for doing my listings. And I also like to do it in the morning as well because it's my least favorite task. So I figure if I can just get it whacked out and done straight away to start the day, um, there's less procrastination opportunity. So I'm gonna do it right now, get these 12 done, hit the thousand for the very first time. We'll see you after. Go to Super Cheap Auto, get some new set of wiper blades, and then you won't scratch your windscreen. Hey. 25 bucks. He reckons he knows it all, Dad. <laughs> $25 wiper blades, he's telling me. I'll keep that in. I'll keep that in. Yeah. I'm keeping this in. He'll be, he watches all my videos, so he won't like he won't like seeing this right now. Um, Alright, let's go. So we are off to we're off to the gym. Um, I've changed up the way I do things. Um, I'm now starting work around six o'clock in the morning and um, normally I would have gymmed in the morning around that time, but I figured I run my own show and it's probably a good thing to just try things up and, and do things a bit differently every now and again. So uh, I've started to go at lunchtime to the gym and then I have lunch afterwards. And that's been actually re working really well for me. So I'm just gonna continue that process. Um, I find it's a really great way to break up the day. I, I sort of work between six and midday. And um, by midday, six hours worth of work, I'm, I'm sort of ready for a break. So I go to the gym, I do 12 till one now at the gym. I come home, I have lunch around 1.30. And then I've really got about two and a half hours between 1.30 and four o'clock uh, before I sort of round out the day and, and kind of finish things off there. But ultimately the actual work day is really now 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, and I like to go out for a run some days, generally about three times a week, I'll go for a run down at the beach around that four o'clock mark. The sun's setting at about five o'clock over here. So by the time five o'clock hits, it's, you know, it's got dark, I've done a gym session, a run, and I've done about eight hours worth of work. And I'm trying really hard not to overwork myself and just keep myself to that mark at four o'clock, you're done. Um, and then chill out for the afternoon, go and hang out with friends and family and whatever else. So. I'm gonna do that now, head to the gym, and then uh, I'm, I am gonna jump into a thrift store uh, on the way back. So I might skip the gym worth of an edit and um, I'll just see you in the thrift. Now before we get started guys, can I just say that there is no need for me to be in this store today. I don't need to go thrifting, so why I'm standing here in the kids aisle is absolutely beyond me. I did find these Matchbox cars though, $2 each. I thought they would actually be in pretty good value. Maybe had a, a bit of a lucky dip. Toy Story as well, the remote control car out of Toy Story and Woody. 
this was really cool and it was only $6. I'm sure you could have flipped that for 40 bucks on eBay, but I, I had to get out of here. I can't be spending my time in the kids section. Oh, this dog's actually pretty cool too. I think this was about five bucks and probably could have turned into about 30 as well, but I had to say no. I had a look and I saw all these games as well. There was this one really good game, Need for Speed Most Wanted. If you can find this on the Xbox 360, it's worth between $50 and $100. Incredible value, but unfortunately, this was the Xbox original game. Uh, and then I had a look at the shoes. Now, I did buy some Salomon shoes as well. So these Salomons are a hiking shoe. These were a women's six and a half, but I've ended up grabbing them because they were only a very, very cheap $4. How can you say no to that? And then there was another pair of shoes as well. These were the Wave Rider 13s. And when you have a look at the soles in just a second, for $5, they're basically like new. Incredible get. So guys, I didn't buy a hell of a lot. Well, actually, I did go out the back and buy a few things as well. I'll show you what I got there. Like I said in that little edit there, guys, I don't need to be in here at all. Um, I literally just jumped in just to grab a couple of really like high profit type items. And um, I've ended up coming away with a stack of shoes. I'm just absolutely addicted to finding shoes in the op shop, especially at the prices that I'm getting them at. You would have seen everything there that I picked up, but I also found a couple of additional items out the back. The, uh, the ladies there let me go and have a bit of a look. And um, I was able to find these Under Armour shoes for $6. I believe they were women's as well. So a women's US seven and a half for those. I found these Puma shoes. They charged me $10 for these, but I just thought they looked pretty cool. And I thought I'd take the risk in very good condition. As you can see there, $10 on the sole. Not sure if they were men's or a women's yet, but they were a US size nine. So the size was really good. And then just the last one that was out the back as well was this one here. So the New Balance running shoes. I've done a few of these. These are the 860 V5s. So they were a US seven. So guys, there ended up being five pairs of shoes. And as I would have touched on in the edit there, uh, this game, Need for Speed uh, Most Wanted, is an absolute ripping game if you can find it as an Xbox 360. Do your comp research on this one. It can go for upwards of $100 in pre-owned condition. It's that rare. So on the actual Xbox itself, the original Xbox, I don't think it's quite worth that much. But um, when I saw it for, I think it was $4 I paid in the end for that one, I figured with the comp so high for Xbox 360, I could hopefully make my money on an Xbox console console game. Um, so that was everything. Five pairs of shoes in one game, one op shop. I'm not doing any more. I need to go home. I need to get away from these op shops because I'm way too addicted. Uh, $35 was to spend there, but I've ended up getting six great items. So a little under $6 an item, and I think they'll all sell for around the $50 price point. Boy, oh boy, guys, I have just had my biggest eBay sale come through, $430 for a single item. It blows away the previous best, which was around about, I think, about $260, something like that. $430 this one has come in at. It was the Panasonic DMR. I'll put it here. Uh, it was the EZ47V. So this is the DVD to VCR converter. Um, now, I did a bit of a Google on this when I first looked at it in the op shop. It was only about two weeks ago that I picked it up. I paid $65 for it, but I did my research right there in the store, and it was actually the gold standard of VCR to DVD converters. So this was a really good one to get. The, the style code was telling me pretty good things. So I knew that I could buy with confidence, one, on the fact that it comps for over 400 on eBay, and that's obviously what I've ended up getting for it. But two, there was actually a service technician on site within the op shop, and I actually got to speak to him before I bought the item. So so I knew at $65 I could really truly buy with confidence because he told me that it worked 100% fine across every single component of the device. So completely working, this one had the manual, this one had the remote, some very, very important things when you're buying electronics. I don't do a lot of hard goods myself, but when I had a service technician on site and he told me that it worked a dream and it comped for $430, I had, to, I had to pick it up. And uh, yeah, look, it, it's come through. It's finally popped up as a sale. There was some interest over the last couple of weeks, so I didn't think it was too far away. And uh, sure enough, here it is. So I'm absolutely wrapped. An awesome way to end the day. Um, I, I do need to edit this video, so it's only three o'clock, but I'm gonna have to wrap up the filming now to be able to get the video out this afternoon, filming and, and editing on the same day. But hopefully you've enjoyed it. It has been a bit of a groundhog day, just doing all the little things that you need to get done, got my listings done. I did hit a thousand. I didn't really touch on that earlier in the episode, but I hit a thousand. So I got my 13 listings done, which was really cool. Um, very interested to see it for anyone out there that has a store with over a thousand eBay listings. Have you seen a spike in your sales for the next few days or off the week or the month post? hitting a thousand, uh, a thousand items on your store, because I'd be very interested to see in the algorithm 
uh, if you get any benefit for hitting the four digits. So finally happy to be there. Uh, it did take seven months for me to get to a thousand in my store, um, consistently listing every single day. So it does take a really long time to get to established um, sort of a position um, to bring in regular sales on a daily basis. But um, this was a big goal, so I'm happy to hit it. So I've hit the thousand and I've also had my record sales day. So this has actually been a good day uh, for eBay. And um, yeah, I appreciate you tuning in and sticking around for it. Uh, trip to the thrift on Thursday, guys. I will end the video right there. Hope you've enjoyed it. Look forward to catching you in the next one.